Prime Minister, the other day we saw your No Deal Brexit papers. In it they detailed how organic farmers wouldn't be able to trade with you for about a year. They would have to stockpile blood, food and medicine, extra bureaucracy for exporting business. No answers to the Irish border. What deal could, be possibly, could possibly be worse than that? What we're working for with the European Union is a good deal, and a good deal that I believe is a good deal for the UK will be a good deal for the European Union. We've put forward our proposals for the future relationship in the Chequers deal, the white paper that we've published. We now sit down and negotiate those with the European Union. Of course it's right, because we don't know the outcome of the negotiations, that we prepare for no deal. But, but what, we're also, what we're also doing as a government is ensuring that we will make a success of Britain outside the European Union. Being here in Africa, in South Africa today and other parts of Africa, will be, is about, partly about the sort of trade deals, the investment that you, we can you see accept, you accept once we're outside we be, the European Union you do accept, that will mean but good jobs accept, in the UK as well as here indeed, in Africa. But you do accept, Prime Minister, that we will be worse off if we don't have a deal. If there is no deal, British people will be economically worse off. You do accept that. What the government is working for is to ensure that whatever the outcome of the negotiations, we make a success of leaving the European Union. There are huge opportunities open to the United Kingdom outside the European Union. That's partly what my visit here uh, to Africa is about. It's also about reframing, re re uh, changing the strategic direction of our development aid budget so right. that we're giving greater longer term support to countries. Can I put another way? Do you think that we will be more powerful and richer outside of the EU than we would have been if we'd stayed in? I think there are huge opportunities for the United you think Kingdom. We will be richer I more think powerful? there are huge opportunities for the United Kingdom outside the European Union. If you just look at the trade issue, we do want a good trading relationship with the EU once we've left, but we also will have the opportunity to negotiate trade deals that are in our interests and the interests of our bilateral partners rather than into the interests of the European so Union. You, you won't say That's we will... about bringing jobs sure. to the United Kingdom. It's about bringing jobs to other parts of the world people as well. might lose their jobs under No Deal Prime Minister. And don't you have... People think that you are an honest Prime Minister, an honest politician. Could you just honestly, in a very straightforward way now, tell me that given that we now know what checkers would look like, we know what No Deal would look like, given we now know essentially what Brexit will look like either way, would you vote for Brexit now? Well, what I'm working for... No, well, no, Minister, would you what, vote for uh, Brexit look, now? The... the the, that is a hypothetical question, Indeed. and I don't answer hypothetical questions because we're not in the business of having, and it's very important, this point, because we're Why not in the business of it? having a second referendum Promise, on might, Brexit. Promise, no, I'm, I'm, we're not in the business of having a second referendum on Brexit. Promise, I'm a what we're bit... in the business of doing is delivering Brexit. So actually, what somebody would vote for today is not the issue. The issue is... Are we doing what the British people wanted? Minister, the answer is yes, Minister, this government is delivering. There are millions of young people out there, many of whom, as you know, are very anti-Brexit. They're going to be living with the consequences of your decisions long after you have left office and long after your cabinet has left office. Don't you owe it to the British people to honestly just say very straightforwardly whether you think that you would actually approve of Brexit? Now we know what Brexit would look like in the event of another referendum. Well, of course, the negotiations are ongoing. We've put Why forward our proposal. The negotiations are ongoing. Because we've got to live with it. The negotiations are ongoing. We've put forward our proposal for a good deal for the future. We prepare for every eventuality, for every outcome. But what we're delivering on is the vote that the British people took. You don't think it's a very Parliament good idea, do you, overwhelmingly, Prime Parliament overwhelmingly gave the, the decision to the British people. The British people have decided to leave the European Union and the government will deliver that. And the government will do more than that. We will make a success of it because there are huge opportunities for us outside the European Union. Do you think Brexit Union. is a very that's good idea? Partly, that's partly what... I think there are huge opportunities for the uh, European Union, out, for the UK, outside the European Union. We're in the round. But there are... But that's partly what this is about, my visit to South Africa, my visit to other parts of Africa. Talking about the sort of trade deals we can have in the future. Talking about the opportunities for British investment here, but for investment that creates jobs here in Africa and jobs in the United Kingdom as well. That's good for the UK. I note though, Prime Minister, you do refuse to endorse the idea that you would vote for Brexit, but that's fine. Um, Boris Johnson has said that your plan, Chequers, would be tantamount to us becoming a colony. Um, when he was in government, that's your plan, when he was in government, did you ever see a plan from him? Well, of course, what happened in relation to the Chequers deal is that the Cabinet came together, the deal was, uh, was agreed, subsequently a number of Cabinet ministers um, felt that they were not a, no longer able to support that. 
What Chequers does is put forward a proposal which delivers on the vote of the British people. It delivers Brexit. We're leaving the European Union on the 29th of March 2019. Is Chequers better it than our current membership? It delivers, it delivers Brexit in a way that not only uh, delivers on the vote of the British people, brings an end to free movement, brings an end to the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice, but also protects jobs and livelihoods, maintains the United Kingdom and ensures we have no hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. That's a good deal for the UK. I believe it's also a good deal for the EU. Well, on a totally different subject, uh, Prime Minister, we saw your um, rather impressive dancing moves earlier uh, today at the school. Strictly come dancing if they came calling, perhaps, perhaps not this year, you're quite busy, but in another year, would you be willing to give it a go? I think the chances of Strictly come dancing coming calling are pretty, uh, uh, are pretty minimal. Pretty I have to say it was standing. a great welcome from the school today. Everybody was dancing. It was great excitement. It was a fantastic moment and a great welcome to South Africa. They're calling you Twinkle Toes, Teresa. What do you make of that? I've been called many things in my time. Prime Minister, thank you.